Okay, so let's take a look at this problem. Um, it's from a GED math practice test. Uh, I'm not sure which one. Someone just posted this on Facebook. So let's take a look. It says 3x minus 4y is greater than 12. And then we see this question. Which ordered pair satisfies the inequality? So you might be thinking, what the heck is an inequality? Well, this right here is the inequality. It's an inequality. It's kind of like an equation. We see two expressions. Only unlike an equation where the two expressions are separated by an equal sign, it's separated by an inequality sign. So we see an inequality sign right here. The inequality signs tell us the relationship between the two sides, just like an equal sign does. But instead of telling us that they're equal, it tells us that one side is bigger than bigger or smaller than the other. So um, a lot of students have trouble remembering their um, inequality signs. So one way you can do it is by a number line. Think about the arrowheads on either end of a number line. We know as we point left on a number line, we're going less, and this is the less than sign. And as we point right on a number line, we're going to the greater numbers, and this is the greater than sign. So I'm saying here that I want 3x minus 4y to be greater than 12. That's what this inequality says. And so it says, which of these satisfies this inequality? Well, in order to figure out if it satisfies it, that means it makes it true. We're going to have to plug these values in. So let's give it a try. So remember that when you look at an ordered pair, the first value is an x, the second value is a y. They go in alpha order, alphabetical order. So let's try plugging it in. Let's plug in a negative 5 where x used to be. And I'm plugging it in with parentheses. Most of us hopefully know by now that when a number and a letter, a number and a letter are shoved together in algebra class, they're multiplying. So when I go to plug in this negative 5, I'm going to plug it in with parentheses so I know to multiply those two numbers. Okay, minus 4 times. And the y value I'm testing is negative 4, so I'll plug a negative 4 in there. And I want to see if that whole thing will be greater than 12. Let's take a look. Well, 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. And negative 4 times negative 4. I'm going to keep their signs with them when I multiply. A negative times a negative is a positive, and so I'm going to end up with a plus. And 4 times 4 is 16. And I want to know if that's greater than 12. Okay, so negative 15 plus 16. If I went 15 in the negative direction and 16 in the positive direction, I would end up at 1. And if you did this problem on your GED or your GED test, you would have a calculator. Um, so feel free to use your calculator to do this calculation. But one is one greater than twelve. Is one greater than twelve? Well, absolutely no. One is not greater than twelve. This resulted in a lie. So this point does not satisfy the equation, or uh, sorry, satisfy the inequality. Let's try another one. I'm gonna go a little faster now that I think we got this. Okay, again, I'm going to pick up my inequality, 3x minus 4y. I'm starting from scratch because I want to see if the next point satisfies. So let's plug in. For our x value, we're going to plug in a 4. For our y value, we substitute in a 0. And I want to know if that's greater than 12. Well, 3 times 4 is 12. And we're going to subtract from that 4 times 0 is 0. And so I get this statement. Is 12 greater than 12? And no, sorry, because I have this strictly greater than sign. 12 is not greater than 12. So this is a lie, and so I cannot use that point either. Let's try the next one. Okay, so again, I'm plugging into 3x minus 4y is greater than 12. And if you're wondering why I rewrite this problem over and over again, it's because I've seen too many students make copying errors. So... I think the best thing to do is always to start with your untouched inequality or untouched equation before you start substituting. And now I'll substitute 4 times negative 4. And we're looking for something that's greater than 12. OK, 3 times 0 is 0. Negative 4 times negative 4 is positive or plus 16. And I want to know if that's greater than 12. As 0 plus 16 is 16, 16 is greater than 12. Boom, that ordered pair satisfies the inequality.